Hey guys, it's me again. I just wanted to share some layouts and projects that I did um, over the past oh, week or two. Most of them I did this last um, three days while I was scrapbooking with my mom and my great aunt. Um, this is a two-pager I did and um, it was using some of the Amy, old Amy Tan line and um, I used some of the, I sprayed these. Studio Calico shapes, and um, these are the um, tags I got from Michaels. They're the Recollections line um, that were with all the journaling cards and and bags. And then I just did a title. Really easy. I think I was getting tired at this point and just wanted to make a layout, so pretty easy layout. Okay, this is a layout I made about me and my best friend, and it's using um, one of the Teresa Collin lines, and I used a border punch here, and some stickers and brads, there's a stamp there. If there's anything you guys need to, want to know about where something's from or what brand, um, just let me know. I'm not going to go into too much detail because um, that way those who want to know about a specific item, I can let you know. But I'm pretty sure this is all from a Teresa Collins line. I can't remember what the line was called. It was a recent one, I think, that I recently showed. Okay. And then this is um, a layout I made. I um, scrap left it off of Dear Lizzie's new website. Um, or Liz, you know, it's Elizabeth Karchner's new website, I should say. Um, and so it's using some, actually some scraps of paper, some of the New Valentine's 14 line. Um, that was the technique that she showed using embossing and how it resists. And then I used some spray ink and some of the Dear Lizzie canvas strips in the bow. Um, and then I sp sprayed or, you know, sprinkled some of the spray mist on there. So, can we see that better? There we go. Okay. And then, this is, I think, all using Dear Lizzie's Fifth and Frolic. Except, the journaling card is my mind's eye and the sequins are just some random sequins I had. Um, there's your sticker there. And again, this was a crop lift, or a scrap lift, I believe, off of that site. And I can't think of what it's called. But it's Liz, Elizabeth Karchner's new scrapbooking website. And she has different people come on and do pages and techniques. And then another Fifth and Frolic based page. Again, another scrap lift from that site. And, um... So yeah, I cut those Polaroids and added some bits and pieces. And then I guess the glitter tape is American Crafts. It's not Fifth and Frolic, but stickers. Okay. And then um, this one is oh, this is one where I kind of grabbed some scraps off of the top of my scrap pile and put them all together and added some embellishments and journaling card and that's from that recollections um, um, pattern paper book that's I think kind of the knockoff of the my mind's eye um, I guess any details there I use some flare there we go okay so there's a, another look that's from those dollar tags from Michaels Okay, some washi throughout there. Oops, we got some washi, some different stickers. Okay, all right. And then, um, I guess we'll stick with the Dear Lizzie stuff here real quick. Um, I've gotten this day book of hers, and so I completed this this weekend. And it's just about my daughter was invited to this tea party, and so I made a mini album from the pictures that came out of that. And so I decorated this and added the title 
again, I won't do too much detail. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, this is all from Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic. I bought the line like twice over, so I have plenty of it to use, and and so I used a lot of it up here. But um, oh, I did add some sticker or some of these flowers from Michaels from their dollar bins. There's that, and I also added some lace uh, or like lace trim that I had gotten from Michaels, and also my own washi tape, some random washi tapes. I tried to use a somewhat consistent. Um, consistent items throughout the book I try to use um, and so like with this ribbon I try to keep it have it throughout the entire book and the same washies I used over um, and so try to give it some type of cohesiveness there we go They actually made little scrapbook pages during the party. It was, I thought that was a really clever idea. And she printed photos right then and there, and they were able to put it on a piece of fun scrapbook paper. And so. There and there's a the last page there. I need to journal on that yet, but. Okay. And I also, my goal was to get some of these day, ba day books filled up. And so I did an Amy, a couple Amy Tan ones. And this was um, A Day at the Zoo. And it's the one that has like these flowers. Um, and I'm not going to go through every page, but I'll kind of show you. I used um, papers, embellishments from the same line. And then I added in some wooden veneers and some flair. And that was about it. Um, and so I just. I had a picture from the zoo. This is a pocket, and I thought this was perfect. I had this flare, and I had that photo. Just, But this is actually a pile of photos that I didn't want to highlight because they were just random pictures of animals. This is from a zoo trip, so here we go. And then I also thought this was perfect. I had a train ticket, and I had a picture of um, my husband and my girls ready to go, or on the train. Um, sorry. It's really fun. I love that just a lot of the hard work is done for you. It's so cute. And, the camera there. and some of these I just left like that because they're just cute and you don't have to add a bunch to them if you don't need to. Okay. You guys get the idea. It's a pretty, it was a pretty simple mini album to put together. That's why I love these so much. And the nice put a great day and there we go. So the front and the back have like the same type of picture but they're just different. Like they're not my youngest is kissing the gorilla and then it's just a picture of them with them and and then one more um another Amy Tan day book. Again the same um paper line was used and um this is just um an annual trip that we go on. It's just like 15 miles away. It's like this um, Liberty Cove. It's like a little lake and we do hiking and it's nothing extravagant. We just have a picnic and fly a kite and it's not even really that pretty of a lake, but it's a nice area. And so I just added, I added some of those um, mistable suns and clouds and I, wood veneers. And then Amy Tan line and some random washi tapes. Oh, that's a pot, guys. Added some extra photos in. Just flying the kite. I used up a lot of flair this weekend. I'm so proud of myself because I've been hoarding it. So I can buy more now, right? <laughs> So easy enough. And th so these are the projects I plan to get done. Um, 
Then when I, after I went shopping at Michael's and found all those um, recollections journaling cards, I got this idea because I had, as a result from making these two albums here, I still had some of that Amy T Tan line left. And I can't think of what it's called. I'm so sorry, but it's kind of the more artsy with a watercolor look line. Um, I wanted to use it up, and so I thought the colors were, were all, when I brought everything back from Michael's, I looked at it together, and it all matched so perfectly. And so what I decided to do was I, I showed you um, in my last haul video, um, I had bought a bunch of the different mini, or I'm sorry, chipboard mini album pieces, and I got like five or six of the set. So I had a variety of sizes and shapes. And this is not done, you guys. I'm just showing you what I did. And then I got to finish it and add more to it. But um, I covered the chipboard shapes. And then and then these were also from Michael's in the dollar bin. Um, and this is one of the cards, the journaling cards. Um, and so what I did was I just started adding stuff in. So, like, these were from Michael's and the where they have, um, it's in the scrapbooking section, but where they have stuff for, to make cards. And so I'll just be able to open this up, add a picture in there, journaling. But I just started throwing in a whole bunch of random stuff together. And then adding ribbon and twine and um, the journaling cards, the title cards. And so I'm just going to, i got to do a little bit more. But I ended up with one huge album. And then I ended up splitting it into two. And I'm going to make two separate ones. So that one still needs a cover. But um, so I'll show you that here in a second. But that will be a whole second album because I still wanted to keep adding and adding, and I couldn't because it was too full, and I'd have no room for pictures. So this is out of the journaling, the little notebook where you can that it have perforated sheets, and then you pull them out. This is also from the recollections line. It's a little file folder, and covered that. And I bought these where the cards were, kind of see through envelopes, and so. It's just a really fun um, concept, and so, like I said, I'm not done. I have a lot more to do. I just added in these little bags and then stuck a little journaling card in there. You can see that. Okay, so it's a mix of big pages, little pages, tags, and then, um, so this I just put the file folder. I, oops, sorry. I've, oh, I also use one of the clear, this is one of the clear page sets that I think are meant to go in there like their smash books, the Michaels brand smash books. This I just actually unfolded it and then laid it out like that so it's its own page. And then the journaling cards um, I just put in there. So and this was um, the perforated or the I'm sorry the corrugated card so I just put it in there as is and then I'll add photos to it. And then I got like five or six packs of the of the cards, and so um, of course they're probably made for Project Life. I'm guessing that's why that they made them. Um, but I just the ones that had a similar edging, I just glued them together so that you'd have both sides. And then this I can open and add letters in or ephemera or whatever. Added some more the journaling cards. This glitter paper is also with that same rack of stuff. And so I just glued two pieces together and just made that its own little page. So again, this is going to get kind of redundant, but just I kept just adding stuff in. And I had a blast with it. And then I just added mats. And so my goal was to use up the entire rest of that line. And then I got, um, they had the three 8.5 by 11 packs for $10. And so I got like a polka dot one and a chevron one. And another one that had like another design, but they were all these really bright colors. They were perfect. They matched everything perfectly. And so, um, like this is one of them here, this blue. This is one of them. Um, so I combined them in with the Amy Tan scraps that I had left and just decided that I would use it all up. And so I have glitter. Those one bad thing about these is they do get glitter everywhere. So I might mod podge it and see if that helps. But um so yeah, so just more of the file folders. Um, so yeah. So I'm really excited. I think I might maybe do like a, a either a July daily instead of a December daily. And this would be perfect to do that with. Because I can add like the number for the day and then just add in random stuff. And like so, so even like these I just have just loose in there. And it just adds kind of a fun element to the page. 
So there's that one. And th this one isn't much different, so I won't go into too much detail. It's pretty much the same thing. I, it's just like the second half of it because I decided to make it into two. So there we go. So yeah, so that's it. That's what I did with all those chipboard albums and all those cards and envelopes. And All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.